Hi, um, I am Emily Kincaid and I have recently started selling pharmacy makeup. Um, I have fell in love with this company. Um, that's why I'm so adamant about selling their products. Um, they are a European based company that has recently started selling um, to, in the United States. They sell in 123 other countries, um, but their products are amazing. And I am not just saying that, I am 100% telling the truth. I love Ulta, love Sephora, have spent hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of dollars on all kinds of makeup. I have worn Estee Lauder double wear for the past probably two years. Um, I love Benefit, Tarte, um, Clinique, Makeup Forever, um, you name it, I've tried it, I've done it, Too Faced, been there, done it all. Um, but I truly do love pharmacies products and I love that they are a European country and that they have much higher standards than we do in the United States. They ban about 1,300 chemicals in Europe and the United States bans about 11. And for you who don't know, um, formaldehyde, sulfates, parabens, um, all the things that they put in makeup have been linked to cancer. Um, and our skin is our biggest organ. So we are absorbing this directly into our bloodstreams and in turn giving ourselves um, increased estrogen, which can lead to breast cancer, ovarian cancer, um, messing with our thyroid, um, a lot of these chemicals cause thyroid issues. They can cause um, eye problems. Um, just they can cause dryness, redness, um, breakouts, just mess up your entire body. So I'm not going to necessarily say that Pharmacy is a clean makeup brand, but they do a much better job at eliminating the harmful chemicals that we find in makeup here in America. So with all that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get started um, and show you what I like to do. Um, I'm a busy mom of two small kids. I um, have a full-time job, I'm married, I'm constantly go, 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 go. And of course with quarantine, things have slowed down quite a bit, but I still have small children and I still um, don't have time to sit in the, in the bathroom for an hour getting my makeup on. So I'm gonna show you what I would do on a regular day if I was going to work, if I'm going to the grocery store, wherever, if I'm going, um, how I do my makeup. So first of all, you need to make sure that you have a skincare routine in place. If you um, are my age, which I'm 36, so most of my friends are around my age, and you have not started a skincare routine, I highly suggest you starting a skincare routine. Um, I have very dry skin, and so I need to make sure that my skin is moisturized, but for most people, um, Moist, you need moisture and as you age you're gonna lose that elasticity and moisture so you need to make sure that your skin is moisturized and your makeup will look ten times better um, but for time's sake I'm just gonna um, tell you I've already cleaned my face put on all the stuff I put on hydrated my face I really like this um, deep hydration face cream by Dr. Tuna Dr. Tuna is the founder um, of pharmacy um, he has passed away but he did over 70 years of research um, on all these uh, cosmetics and chemicals and things, and he's the one who um, who started this whole company. So some of his golden rules were paraben-free, heavy metal-free, um, dermatologically tested, endangered plants are never used, um, no animal ingredients are used, manufactured in a laboratory environment, phosphate-free, formaldehyde-free, phthalate-free, phthalate or phthalate-free, however you said that, sorry, uh, non-GMO non -GMO and never tested on animals. So I like his stuff. So make sure you hydrate your face first. Um, after that's all absorbed in, then I use a primer. And what the primer does is basically just um, evens out, gives you like a blank canvas, kind of fills in your pores, your fine lines, and just makes your makeup look more flawless. So I'm using the VFX Pro. Um, I would compare this to the Smashbox primer. Um, and I just, you just put a little bit on and then you just want to rub a thin layer just across your face. So I do that and I kind of let that sit for a minute. You don't have to use a primer, but I just find that you get a better result. So this is the regular one. I also have the strobe, which just gives you a more um, dewy look if you want a more illumified look. I would use this if I was going out on date night and wanted to use um, a thicker covered foundation, even though I 
I'm telling you, I love the CC cream. I have tried um, the It Cosmetics CC cream. Don't like it. I've tried everything. I've tried tons of CC creams. Never liked them. I love the CC cream. Love it. Um, I'm going to be using the shade Medium today. It is... Um, what the CC cream does is it's color control. So basically, it's going to cover up my redness, um, my age spots that I have going on there, um, my freckles. It's just going to even out my skin tone. And when I did, when I posted my before and after on Facebook a couple weeks ago, lots of people thought that it was a filter. And it it's not a filter. I'm not using filters. I don't like filters. I think if I go missing, you need to know what I look like. So I don't use very many filters ever. Um, it's truly this foundation. So I'm gonna show you what I do. So I like to use a sponge. And so I get the sponge wet, wring it out, dry it off with a towel, and then I just put some CC cream on the back of my hand. And uh, you could use your fingers if you want. You could use um, a foundation brush, whatever you feel comfortable using. I just, I love the, I just like the coverage and the look you get when you use the sponge. But basically, I just dab this on and just sort of press it in. I don't rub it. I just kind of dab it like this. And I like to get over my eyes and then in that little crease right there to even it all out. And you can already tell how much it covers. I mean, you can, if you want more coverage, you can add more, but I just think, and it looks so natural. That's what I like about it is it doesn't look like you have on a full face of makeup. You know how makeup can get cakey and just, this looks very natural. So I just dive it all in. Pull it down my neck. And I'm very tan right now. Normally I don't like to tan my skin at all. I'm huge into SPF, but I have been out in the sun so much with this quarantine. I feel like I've lived at the pool or the lake or outside walking, hiking, whatever, because I cannot be stuck in this house. I had to get out. So let me just check, because it's hard to do your makeup in the, in the phone to make sure I have everything covered here. I do. Okay, after I do my um, CC cream all over, then I need to use a bronzer because I'm very tan, like I said, and I wanna bronze my face up and also add some dimension because it's a round face. So I'm using the Peach Palette today, the um, 3 one Peach Palette. It has a bronzer, a highlighter, and a blush. Um, I've also used the 3 in one Face Palette in the past. I also love it too. It's got um, a brighter blush. You can see the brighter blush, a highlighter, and a bronzer. So what I do is I take my brush and I get a little bit of bronzer on there and then make sure you tap it off because you don't want too much. And then I just go along my, my cheekbones here just to bring those out. Sorry about my faces here. Like some crudgy faces. And then I also do up here at the top, kind of contour that. I don't really consider it contouring, but give my face some shape. And then down here. And depending on how your face is shaped, you might do something different, but I'm, not, I'm no makeup expert here. I'm just showing you what I do. So I put my bronzer on there, give my face some shape. And then I take my um, blush brush and I just wanna put a little bit of blush right on my apples of my cheeks. Another thing I noticed, I need to go ahead and put my lip conditioner on. So I've been using this pharmacy lip conditioner. It just helps hydrate your lips and it, when you go to put your lipstick on, just gives you a good canvas. I think hydration is key. 
especially when you're getting older. Make sure you have hydrated skin and lips. Okay, so I'm done with that part. I'm going to move to my eyes. And what I like to do for my eyebrows is I either use um, a pencil and draw them in or I really love this um, Brow Design Eyebrow Mascara. Um, it reminds me of the Benefit Brow Wiz, if anybody's used that, but it's just a little tiny brush here, and um, it just darkens it. So I'm going to do that over here in the mirror because it's hard to do looking at the phone. It just gives your eyebrows shape and darkens them. And then when it dries, they'll just kind of stay in place. Don't take much, just a little bit. Okay. eyebrows are done now I'm going to um, go to my cream shadow I love a cream shadow I've used a cream shadow forever and ever um, sorry I'm looking at this a hair or something right there okay um, what I do is I just use my ring finger um, I'm using the pharmacy um, long last creamy eyeshadow and brown sugar and I just rub it on my lid I've got big eyes and Hooded eyelids. So I feel like you can use this alone just by itself like this and be done. Um, I like to add a little to it. And I feel like it just makes your eyeshadow stay and also makes it so much more pigmented. And then I'm gonna use the Pharmacy uh, Trio Eyeshadow Kit in Vintage Season. And it has three really pretty colors here. It's got this uh, light color, the brown, and then this almost like rusty color. And I feel like that's a good color for people who have green eyes. It just really brings your green eyes out. But I like to take it, I like to take the light color first and I just put it underneath my eye, brow here, and then, um, in the corners. And then sometimes I just go all the way across with it. And honestly, I would probably be done if I was going to work because with my eyeshadow, because that's enough. But if I wanted to add um, anything into my crease, like I said, I have really hooded lids. So um, for me, I would put mine up here to make a crease up here and not in my crease because it would, it would just disappear. So I might do that. Um, you also wanna make sure that whenever you pick up any makeup with your brush that you tap off the excess because you don't want all that falling. So I can add a little bit of a crease right up here. Like I said, if I was in a hurry going to school, I probably would just skip this part. And I just go back and forth like a windshield wiper. And just blend it in. Um, and then I'm going to put my eyeliner on. Um, I'm using the ink liner um, by Pharmacy. This one is waterproof, smudge proof. It's just easy to just. Um. I've used several other eyeliners and I like them all. Um, I just like the convenience and easiness of this little pen though. And I use the Benefit uh, Roller 
It's called Benefit. I've used Benefit Roller Lash. It's my favorite eyeshadow or mascara. Um, and then the Benefit Roller something. I don't know the name of it. Is what? Here it is. Let's see. Roller liner is what I normally use. And this is just as good. Lasts just as long. Doesn't smudge. Can't even tell the difference. And it's like half the price, if not cheaper than that. So anyway. All right, so I've got my um, eyeliner on there. Sometimes I take black and do it underneath. Um, just depends. I'm going to do the white, though. I like to use a white eyeliner and just go right down the inside of your eye. It makes your eyes look really bright. Opens them up. You can put some in the corner. On your tear line. Kind of brighten your eyes up. I think I will take a little bit of this um, eyeliner and do it at the bottom, just right here in the edge. Let me look at my mirror, because it's hard, like I said. I messed that up. It's a little bit darker. Okay, and then my favorite um, pharmacy mascara is the Zen. And um, I've tried the 3D Effects, the volume, um, the volume one. I just really like a silicone brush. Like I said, I'm used to the Roller Lash by Benefit. And so this one um, has the silicone brush and like I said, it's just as good, um, actually better because it's cheaper than the Benefit. So I'm gonna just put my mascara on here. Okay, there it goes. And next I am going to put on my lip plumper. This is by Pharmacy Lip Plumper. I love this one because I tried so many and they're so sticky. And this one is very lightweight. It's not thick and it's not sticky. It's really hydrating. So I put that on. You should really let this sit. Um, about 15 minutes or so, or not 15, I'm sorry, five, and let it do its thing. But for time's sake, I'm gonna go ahead and show you. Um, I like the matte, uh, pharmacy matte liquid lipstick. This one is, oh, I got makeup on it. This one is um, the mauve pink. So I'll put this on. It's a really pretty matte, but it um, it doesn't, it's not like sticky and dry. Like a lot of, um, like I've tried the Kylie Jenner, didn't really love it. I like this one. And then I also take the Miss Sparkle. Um, this is the color Bubblegum Lip Gloss. And I just add it to, it's right down here. Give you some volume in your lip. And then I, you can, some people have, um, like to set their makeup with a translucent powder. Um, I, like I said, have very dry skin. I don't know what that is right there. 
I miss it, my eyebrow. Um, I have very dry skin, so I use the, um, I like the setting sprays. This is the, the Pharmacy Makeup Time Locker, um, and I like it. I, I really like the Morphe. I've used the Morphe, and the, this one reminds me of the Urban Decay um, All Nighter. So, set your makeup, and you're ready. And this will stay all day, and I'm ready to go. So I would love to help you um, find your color if you have any questions, um, if, you wanna, if you wanna try it, if you wanna sample. Um, I'm also gonna have a party soon, but um, please feel free to um, message me through my Facebook Messenger. If you have my number, um, you can text me, whatever. I would love to help you um, find your makeup routine, help you find a color, um, help you with skincare, whatever you need. But thank you for watching and have a good day.